Hi, let's solve one previous question of regular language and contextual language asked in GATE CS22. Question number 37, it is a MSQ. Consider the following languages. Two languages are given. Note that W refers is reversal of string W. Which of the following is or are true? And four options are given. Let me analyze these two languages first. Then I'll check one by one option. L1, A power N, W, A power N, W belongs to A, B, whole, clean closure. Here nothing mentioned about N. Let me consider N is a constant that value is greater than equals to 0. Let N greater than equals to 0. When N equals to 0, then regular expression will be A plus B whole clean closure for W and A power 0, A power 0 that is nothing epsilon when n equals to 1 it will be a a plus b whole clean closure a we can design nfa or dfa for this so this is a regular language let me design nfa so this is a nfa for a a plus b whole clean closure followed by a Start with A, end with A, in between there can be anything. We can also design DFA for this. Suppose N equals to 2, regular expression will be AA, A plus B, whole clean closure AA. Suppose N equals to K, it will be A power K, A plus B, whole clean closure A power K. So whatever value are considering for n, we can create a regular expression for this, we can create a NFA or DFA for this. So L1 is a regular language. Next L2. L2 equals to W, X, W reverse, W, X belongs to A, B whole clean closure and W length, X length greater than 0 means minimum length equals to 1. We can write regular expression for this like a a plus b whole positive closure a plus starting with b a plus b whole positive closure. So this is the regular expression for w x w reverse. We can consider w as single a or single b and we can consider a plus b whole positive closure as x. I already discussed this example during lecture. This is a regular language as you can write regular expression for this. So we found both L1 and L2 are regular language. Next check option, option A, L1 and L2 are regular, correct. This is true. Next option B, L1 and L2 are contest free. Both are regular and regular are subset of contest free. For every regular language, we can design PDA. Also, we can write the contest free grammar. Every regular language are contest free as regular is a subset of contest free. That's why L1 and L2 both are contest free. This is true. Next option C, L1 is regular and L2 is contest free. L2 is regular and regular is subset of contest free. That's why L2 is also contest free. So this is true. L1 regular, L2 is regular and contest free. This is true. Next option D, L1 and L2 are contest free. True, but not regular. Due to this, but not regular. We found both are regular. As here it is written, but not regular due to this. Option D is false. We found option A, option B and option C are correct. Answer will be option A, option B and option C. I already discussed how to identify regular language and contest free language. Just go through that lecture. You can easily solve this question. And if this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.